Hi, my name is Lauren Mansell. I am a physical therapist at Payless Health, now part of Northwestern. I am here to teach you a little bit of Tai Chi. We're first going to do a sitting Tai Chi session. Um, tai Chi is all about increasing our energy and during and after treatment, this is something that's really valuable and also really safe to do. So um, just a quick background on me, I'm a pelvic oncology and lymphedema physical therapist. I am a certified lymphedema therapist, but I also treat the effects of bowel bladder sexual dysfunction that occurs during cancer treatment. And the contact information will be uh, following our, our great little session. So welcome. Um, please find yourself in a very comfortable, safe place. Uh, know that you can do Tai Chi anywhere that this is just an old, old way of providing energy influence. It's, it's actually based in physics. It's a really cool, um, really cool practice. And a lot of people think it's very you know, Eastern minded when in fact it has a lot of that scientific base. So um, we're first gonna bring your awareness into your space. So finding a, a, a peaceful location Hopefully, you're sitting nice and comfortably. Uh, you might be sitting with your uh, legs about 90 degrees to the floor. I'm a little higher than that. Um, with your legs nice and wide, and then your pelvis tipped forward, which helps align our spine, bring your shoulders back and our head back. So what I mean by that is if we're sitting backwards, I don't know if you can see, but in the very second, I tip back onto my tailbone my shoulders will go forward and my head will go forward. And this isn't very comfortable when we start moving our arms. See, my range is a little restricted. So we want to be sitting in a nice upright position where you're kind of on your pelvis or rolled forward if that's comfortable. Um, any comfortable chair is fine. Nice wide legs. And then you just pause and just take a moment to see how you feel in your body. We're gonna be breathing nice and deeply throughout our Tai Chi session. Again, that Chi is that energy force. So we're gonna inhale nice and deep. Exhale, letting the whole trunk come back into the body, towards the body. Inhaling. Exhaling. Just doing that big, deep breathing will improve your energy in your chi. So I'm gonna be talking a lot through and just know that if something hurts, I don't want you doing that. That's a reason to reach out to a therapist. Um, if it hurts, just try to do less of it or just go back to this normal breathing. This breathing is energizing, it creates bellows of the, the tummy and the trunk. Try as you're doing your breathing to inhale through the nose, maybe even exhaling through the nose. If you're congested at all, mouth breathing, breathing is fine. It's just you're not, you're, you're not getting as much of the power from your breath. Maybe you start to notice that as you're doing this deep, deep breathing and you're energizing your body, you start to move a little bit within your trunk. So what that might look like is a little bit of rocking on the body, which when we start to do our Tai Chi practice, you'll see that we get, start to get a lot of movement of our trunk. nice and deep and long. The only problem we have with breath work is that if it's done fast and quickly, you may pass out. But then you go back to normal breathing, but we don't want you falling. So make that breath nice and deep. And if you feel lightheaded, lightheaded at any time or dizzy, just go back to your normal breathing. 
again, this is another reason to reach out to a physical or occupational or speech therapist to work with some of the functional deficits that we see after having oncological intervention. So hopefully you're starting to already feel the effects of the breathing. So powerful. And we can do this anywhere. Here at Payless, we see patients prior to their surgeries and we try to give them as much tips and as much strength and wellness prior to going into their treatment. So this is one of the biggest things that we teach because at any time during your treatment, except for some radiation treatments, they don't like, like this breathing can't be done. But at any point in your cancer treatment, you can always do this deep, deep, big belly breathing. So in Tai Chi, the movements replicate the movement of the earth, which is really, really cool. So just how the earth spins and it rotates and then it, um, it, it has the three um, different planes of movement, it's just amazing. So Tai Chi emulates that movement. So we're going to start first with the forward back movement. So again, we're still doing that nice deep breathing and the hand movements start the palms up. We're gonna bring them forward, bringing a big circle up on top of us and bringing it down. So we're inhaling up nice and slow as we're exhaling, rotating down this way. And I'll go to the side so you can see what that looks like. Again, if this hurts your shoulders or anywhere, just do smaller. Doing these right here is just fine. Just try to coordinate the movement and you can go, you can go as fast as you want. Just watch your fast breathing. So if your body just feels like it wants to do fast circles, go for it. If you want to do super slow and super big, amazing. And you can even kind of get into that pulling that energy towards you. However, this feels natural and wonderful. Try to use your abdominals to exhale. that breath and that energy out. So then, starting to bring that circle in a little bit smaller. Start to just to notice the subtleties of what it feels like to bring that breath towards you. And you might even feel like there's a lot of energy in your palms and your hands. This is true because our, we have a lot of neural nerve conduction that goes to our hands. Um, chemo affects this. That's that chemo-induced peripheral neuropathy. So we can all of these reasons to practice the Tai Chi. You don't have to do as much rocking as I do. 
You can just sit nice and still if you want, creating that little itty bitty circle of movement. Try to not do it, and I just can't bring back to <laughs> So if this feels comfortable, great. Listen to your body, do what feels really good. But again, just kind of know that you can create that energy as much as you want. Inhaling, exhaling, bringing it down. When we do side the side breathing, Tai Chi exercise, you'll bring it down the sides of your body. But in the forward, see if you can kind of feel as you bring down what it feels like to exhale and push those hands over your body. Really taking a moment to kind of quiet and relax the breathing as we're finishing up the forward Tai Chi movement. Maybe you start to feel the energy in your hands. So in Tai Chi, they really feel, um, they talk about the, the power of the, the Chai energy ball. So if you just take, it's probably gonna feel good to have a break for a moment at our movement. You just kind of feel like there's this ball. Maybe you get the hands really nice and close so you can feel the energy between the hands. Um, and this is something that science has proven. So um, this is all coming from that neural conduction. We have a lot of nerves, a lot of our spinal cord and brain energy is going um, to our hands. The only other place that has slightly more is genital. So this rolling of the energy is really great when we do the diagonal Tai Chi movement. Again, you can kind of roll on your pelvis while we're doing The movement. So hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit of the wellness and the calm that comes with deep mindful breathing and that movement component. So now, and feel free to take a break at any time, you can go back to that regular big belly breathing. Um, so if your arms are starting to feel a little tired, just know that you can just do the breathing and maybe watch the video to, to when you're feeling better, some of the motions and the movements that, that you can do to help yourself with Tai Chi. So next, we're going to be doing the sideways, um, the collateral, um, the sideways energy. So we just brought in energy in this plane, front to back. Now we're going to go side to side, and then we do rotation on the uh, 45. So for this breath work and this uh, Tai Chi movement, you're going to bring same thing as forward, but then when you bring it down, Above your head if it feels comfortable, I'll show you how to modify it if need be. Then you're gonna go out to the side and swoop and come on under like that. And then you bring the ball back and forward. So forward, the side, and then really creating that energy sideways. Inhaling, bringing it to the side. 
Inhaling. Exhaling to the side. This is huge for shoulder range. So if your shoulders are bothering you, let's just kind of make it smaller. So if you can't reach past 90, keep this breath and the movement nice and, nice and close. Just whatever feels good to you. And you'll notice too on different days that you practice Tai Chi that you'll, your movement quality will be different. You can tell mine's a little fast today. And on other, day, other days, it's a lot slower. So just know that you can go as fast or as slow as you'd like. Just be very mindful of your breathing pattern. We want you just to make sure that you don't feel short of breath or dizzy. Swooping sideways, bring that energy towards you. Feels good. I'll show you the face. Bring that energy up. Bring it right down your face. And you can make it small. Be mindful of any kind of shoulder movement that you can do or can't do. Feel that energy get big, how it can contract a little bit, and you can make this whatever you want it to be. Just bringing those hands down, down to the thighs, palms up. Taking a moment to feel how your body feels. Check in, make sure nothing hurts. You should feel really, really good with the energy and the breath work. to the sides and now we go diagonally and this is that rotation so as just kind of focus on your breath and then create that energy ball um, again this is tai chi but i know that this has a lot of science with those nerves in the hands so you can make this energy ball as big or as little as you like 
So if you see my hands are rotating. Again, I'm starting to rock a little bit on my pelvis. Have any movement we can get innervates that spine and innervates all of our nerves and it feeds back to our brain. So now we're going to take this energy ball and just how we're kind of molding it with our hands. You're going to go 45 degree angle. So um, in sitting, you're just going to turn in your chair. It's easy for me. I'm on a stool. Um, but also in your chair, as long as, you know, if you have handrails on your chair, your chair is going to have to be turned. So if you need to get up and turn your chair 45 degrees, totally fine. Um, but if you don't have the handrails, you can just shift in the chair. So now we're going to start to rotate. So when we're standing, we're going to be in a little lunge, but we are doing the sitting Tai Chi. So as you have this ball of energy that you're rotating, you're now gonna to rotate to the side. So if you can start to see what my movement looks like. And this is where that ball, you can kind of roll it however you like, but your outside wall um, arm is going to be the one that's going up as you lean diagonally. And remember, we can get this as big as you want it to be. So if we want to do a very huge stretch and pull down, and this is very much like that forward motion, and you can even take a moment before you do the next one to roll that ball. Remember, your power is coming from that breath. It should be nice and noisy. If you want to do just straight back and forth on that 45 degree, that's completely fine also. And remember, you can also do these little itty bitty ones too, if you don't want to reach your shoulders up that high. See how my arms are staying below 90 degrees? There's a lot that you could do. Remember, you could really slow it up. I'm going to do the other side in a little bit. So if you're wondering why your outside arm, this high arm is starting to really feel from the reaching, I'm going to do the other side in a moment. directions with four exercises are really easy to do on your own. You can stop and pause these and just do one at, the, one at a time. I'm going to start just to bring them a little bit slower and a little bit quieter. So if you hear other talking, it's just people walking down the hallway. All right, so now we're gonna pause. And we're gonna come back to our normal, kind of easy sitting. And just notice what the side that you just worked on, how that feels compared to the side that we didn't bring energy towards. 
So when I'm working with my patients going through oncological intervention, a lot of times I will have them do this rotational exercise into the side of their treatment. And they find very, you know, really good success with that. So just notice, especially if this left side, or whatever side you just worked, is your treatment side. Um, you might feel, as you pause here, that this side feels pretty nourished um, and kind of energized and in innervated, right? And then this side's kind of like, oh, I want some. So um, now we're gonna slowly make our way to the other, that 45 degrees um, from straight forward where we were at. And remember that outside arm is gonna be the, the one, so we're gonna start to breathe that energy ball. And then the outside hand is gonna be the one that's holding it in and is nice and high. So you create that ball and then you start to bring it out into the diagonal. When we do the standing Tai Chi, it's almost like you're in a lunge, so just however feels comfortable. That's what it's gonna do. Inhaling, creating that energy ball. Remember, you could take a moment to roll it if you'd like. And I'm going to make this as big or as little as you need it to be. And always just go back to the breathing, and that's completely fine. It creates that chi. We're all different one side to the other. So if you notice a difference with the movement, and a difference with pain, it's completely fine. I want you to make it a little slow, uh, smaller of a movement and try to keep away from the pain. So even if that's just a little bit of tininess right here, it's completely fine. Begin to make our movements a little smaller and bringing it in a little bit more. Start to feel that balance in your body. 
Surprisingly, this is a really good core workout with the breathing and moving on the chair and having your abdominals to support you, the diaphragm that's coordinating the movement. There's nothing wrong with how you choose to breathe and move within Tai Chi. Listen to your body and just know that these are all exercises that were created to change how you felt with the energy surrounding you and within your body. So, now bringing that energy ball and maybe it feels a little bit more um, tingly or all that movement maybe you dropped your arms a while ago because this does take a lot of stamina and endurance to be moving the arms like this Anybody's familiar with the chakra system, which is tied to Tai Chi and the energy, the solar plexus here in your center, that is the source of bodily strength, endurance, stamina. And it's right under your umbilicus. So, yeah. so I just find it interesting there's a lot of martial art artistry that really focuses on how you kind of bring into the center and also there's even with fighting um, different types of martial arts how the energy is really directed um, from the belly. Um, Shodokai is one of the ones where you have to have a big belly to have big energy. So no second in that tummy. Um, let it be nice and big and feel great and let that breath be generous into the abdomen. So we're just going to drop our hands down onto, onto the legs, palms up, and then check in with your body. You should feel very different from the check-in that we started with at the beginning of our Tai Chi workshop. Take a nice deep breath, send it down your spine, deep into the abdomen, possibly even towards our pelvic floor to where we're sitting. And notice that you can just create wellness just with that big breath and that awareness. Exhaling nice and slow and low, and maybe use your belly, your abdominal muscles to tighten to get every last molecule of air out of your lungs creating that really big, beautiful space for your next inhale. Notice that you might find more movement in your breathing where you can feel that you can breathe deeper and you can create almost these levels of inhale and then allowing that exhale to occur in whichever way, bottom to top or top to bottom. Maybe on the inhale, you allow the crown of the head float up into the air. Feel that energy you just created. So you fill the space in your body and exhaling, allowing the body to sink back. Inhaling, it's like you imagine your head being pulled up towards the ceiling. Exhaling, allowing everyone to come back, back to its, its original space. feeling the energy in your hands. We're going to do, we'll feel more in our toes um, for the standing one. But you can actually still feel kind of the invigorating effects of Tai Chi on the whole body with doing the three planes of Tai Chi exercise. So just kind of roll you know, those hands, maybe nice and big, 
push up. Just notice any changes that you feel in your hands. Um, you can massage them if they're not feeling super, super great, if they're really tired. Maybe do a little bit of the, the pressing. So I'm, this is some yoga tri tricks, but yoga and Tai Chi are cousins. Just kind of notice as we press and go kind of back and forth. Really great for that chemo induced peripheral neuropathy for the hands. In yoga, they're called matanasas. I know this is Tai Chi, but okay, it's just really good. We do a lot of work with the hands and the arms. So just giving a moment to feel really just so grateful for what the hands and the arms and body and the breath does for us. Resting back down as we slow our breath. Connect with that awareness of how you feel and know that you can create this awareness and this feeling of wellness just with that breathing alone. So just thinking about your breathing, Be mindful of how you feel in your space. Knowing that you have an army of people, both at Cancer Support Center and also um, with us here at Payless Now Northwestern, that we would love to be a part of your army to help you feel strong and empowered within your oncological treatment. We have screenings that we will do free of charge. And also with an order, you can come in for therapy for anything that's bothering you. Any pain, any restrictions, inability to move, bowel, bladder, sexual dysfunction, and or swelling from lymphedema. So I'm so grateful for the time that you spent with me to do this this workshop and I hope you bring that piece forward.